What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How are we doing today? Uh, another video, as per usual, every day on the grind. Um, as per usual, drop whatever you want in the comments. Um, like the vid if you get the vid to a hundred likes, somebody will win 10k stubs. Um, guys, there's a video on uh, how to prepare for player of the month cards. They're dropping tomorrow, or I should say today at um, 3 Eastern time, um, 12 Pacific time. So what I'm going to just say is honestly, um, with the market crashed already, all I'm going to say is like, if you don't have stubs, realistically, I can't say anything. I don't have stubs, so I'm kind of screwed, but I'm going to try to sell some players to make stubs. And pretty much everybody's here to make stubs. So what I'm going to say is, um, with the market crashed, all I can really say is any cards you have, if you want, you could sell and try to make stubs. But this is what I'm going to say. So this is my team. I'm going to show you. I have about probably 500K worth in investments and team. I probably have more, but this is who I'm rocking with right now. Okay. It's pretty freaking stacked, mad stubs. But I have a lot of investments, guys. If you have a lot of investments, there is no roster update this week. I thought there was. There isn't. Um, if you have a lot of investments like I do, for instance, I have what, freaking 10 Okunas or something? 5k, wow. I have 12 Okunas. Like, realistically, bro, I would just go ahead and sell your investments. When player of the month cards drop, I would go ahead and pick them up. So this is what happens. When player of the month cards drop, this is what happens. I honestly, I could just say that when player of the month cards drop, they drop the limited time packs. Um... Usually they sell out within the first hour or two. When they sell out, you'll see everybody's price jump because everybody's trying to get in for cheaper. But with that said, they're going to drop probably a moments challenge where you could get a diamond or gold player. So now that's going to decrease their value. So let's say you pick up, let's say they drop a Charlie Black with 90, 89. Let's just say, okay. Let's say he's 30K when he drops in packs. Right when the packs go out, he could go up to 50 to 60 to 70. That's when you want to cash out. I made the mistake and I didn't cash out and I lost a ton of stubs because people did the moments and made a ton of stubs. So you want to get as many players as you can. Um, that's all I really could say. Just get as many players as you can. Try to make those stubs. I'm going to go over some examples right now. Uh, let's go to 84. Let's go to the golds. Uh, a lot of people make a ton of stubs off the golds. So here we go, bro. My internet's trash right now. I can't stream. Um, I have to fix my internet, bro. I have to go on the phone with Fios. It's just a mess, bro. But anyways, let's get into it. Um, let's see. So right here. So Lucas Chilio's at 1,900 stubs, bro. I literally, he was literally at 5, 6K when he first dropped. Um, you could have got him for like 4K when he first dropped. And then he went up to like 8K about right when the packs were gone. He rose a ton. So yeah, he went up a lot. A lot of the gold players, another one, Kayla Smith, went up a lot on the first um, player of the month cards. But yeah, guys, if you just listen to me, you'll make stubs. If you don't have any stubs right now, just go sell your team. I mean, it's a little risky because the market's crashed, but I'm going to sell some players. I'm going to pick up some player of the month golds and diamonds, try to make stubs. I'm really low on stub count. I, it, it sucks because the market crashed without me knowing. They dropped the home run derby packs and they dropped the all-star packs. Which absolutely destroyed my life. Um, I didn't know idea they were coming. I should have known, but I thought they would drop it on Friday. But no, they dropped it the next day, which screwed me. Um, anyways, so yeah. Also, maybe the market might crash a lot more. So if you're watching this, I honestly, I this is your like last chance, bro. MLB has been just dropping some crazy market crashes as of late. Um, I see the market actually going down a little more than usual. I see these players right here, all these 99s dropping 5, 10K. Um, if you guys have some 98s, 95, 96s, whatever you got, bro, go ahead, sell. Just take my word. I literally, I don't see any other cards going up. There's no way in hell these cards go up anytime soon, especially with the player to most dropping. And honestly, bro, I see them dropping a Charlie Blackman freaking month uh, he did the best this month the stats show it by stats charlie blackman have done has done the best will they give it a charlie blackman chuck nasty i don't know um it's a big if i really hope they do because his hitting would be out of this world and i just i love charlie blackman since he came to the league bro 
I it, he was like a sleeper in 2012. I picked him up. He carried me to the finals. Um, he's a beast, bro. He's a beast in fantasy right now. He's a beast overall. I hope they give it to him. But right now, we're also gonna go over to auction. And honestly, bro, um, 70k Alomar. If you literally have these cards, the Henderson, the Alomar, the Verlander. To be honest, bro, this might be the last time you'll see him at this price. I would go ahead and sell all your cards. Anything you got, bro, please just listen to me. I mean, you can make a ton of stubs. I've made a ton of stubs all player in a month. Just not this one because, dude, I didn't know they dropped the solo. It screwed me up. They even announced it in the stream. I just, I had work, bro. I, I, I just couldn't do anything about it. I got screwed. So, all right, yo, you have Gary Carter, 103K, sell him. Never do the sell now. Just go ahead and sell him. Let's see. Kyle Ripken's a good sell, I guess, at 51K. It's so low, bro. A 99 for 50K. It just blows my mind. Like, they have a 98 Keith Hernandez for 12K. 12K on a 98. Um, Realistically, like, all these cards are so cheap. Like, looking at the Bumgarner and LeBron for 47 and 40K, it kind of gets me upset. Like, dude, what is this? Please, somebody help Bugs. Somebody explain how the hell this happened. I really thought they should have raised the stub sale another week or two. But, yeah, right when that stub sale was gone, the market died. Even when the stub sale was on, um, All-Star, they dropped the Home Run Derby content. The market crashed even with the stub sale, bro. So, what makes you think the market's going to rise? Think about this. This is what I have to tell you. So, they drop a stub sale to make the market rise, but they just dropped the stub sale. So, with that said, I don't see a stub sale coming to the game for maybe two, three, four weeks. So, what's going to go on from here on and out, bro? They're literally just going to absolutely destroy the market. There's going to be no increases in the market probably ever for maybe weeks. So, <clears throat> honestly, I'm going to say this again and again. Sell your cards now. Buy your player of the month cards. Get rid of every single player of the month card directly after the packs are gone. Do not pop the packs. You will lose stubs. I pop the packs every month. This month, you will not see me popping the packs. Maybe. Um, but if I take a loss on the packs, I'm screwed because I don't want to buy stubs and that's screwed up. But re re listen, listen to this. So you sell your cards. Honestly, would I buy the diamonds? I don't know. I feel like the diamonds are riskier. I would go ahead and buy the gold. If you see the golds at about three, four, two K, whatever, go ahead and cop. Let's say you have a hundred K cop all use all your hundred K on golds sell them sell them sell them they can go up to six seven eight nine i saw them at 10 i saw them at 12 before if you see them at 12k and you got them for 4k even if the sell now is 10 and it's 12 bro if you see the sell now at 10 you could go ahead and freaking quick sell everything you got um go ahead sell your cards cleanse out your freaking investments this is not the time you want to invest this is the time you want to get ready for player of the month investments that's what you want to do invest in player of the month cards Invest, invest, invest. Get rid of your Okunas. Get rid of your Yates. Get rid of every card in the game, bro. Any card you have, go ahead and sell them. You're literally going to see something really upsetting tomorrow. If you don't have your card sold, you're going to lose probably 10K a pop. 10K a 95, 10K a 97. If you have the Gary Carter, you could lose 20K. If you have this dude, you could lose 30K. Listen, just take my advice. I promise you. It, it, it can't go wrong. It's either I'm right or I'm not right, but I'm still right. Pretty much what I'm saying is um, the market can't go up. There's no shot it goes up. There's no way it goes up unless they magically do a magical MLB stub sale again, which is not going to happen. So, yeah. If you have any of these cards, sell. If you don't, I don't know what to say. Um, if you have 50K stubs just sitting there, you're lit. You're going to make a ton of stops on the player of the month. You could double that very easily. Um, enough said, guys. Just make sure to sell your cards. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry there's no stream. I'm very sorry, yo. Like, I can't do anything about it. My internet is trash. Thank you, Fios. Thank you very much. My streaming, trash. Everything is trash about my internet right now. Got to get a new router and got to get better freaking Wi-Fi. Got to call Fios, get a better deal. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming out. Player of the month predictions. 
I think Blackman gets it. Hope you enjoyed. Sell your cards. Peace.